movie or uh it's videotaping uh, okay. <laughs> this is sergeant john cola he's the guy who always contacts me basically the boss of this area for this kind of stuff he's really nice and we just talked there was a mix-up i called someone left a message but then someone oh no no that's fine one we're, of the people we're all came in it's a said that we called but we didn't but yeah but it's so. good you guys are here and uh it's a good history with you guys so enjoy the day John. This lady is really nice lady. She's actually audited by David Mayo. Yes. There's a lot of information about David Mayo, how Scientology paid him off and that kind of stuff. Since he was actually the man who made OC5, who actually audited L. Ron Hubbard, who knew L. Ron Hubbard couldn't go exterior and all that stuff. She knows, uh, she actually was personally audited by David Mayo, and he's a really nice guy. Yes, he was. Very, very nice man. Helped me a lot. I had never known anything about Scientology really, except for a few friends until I met him. And he helped me through some very difficult times, very difficult problems. He was a master at regression, yeah. and I had a problem in this lifetime that could only have been attributed to something in a prior lifetime. Yeah. And twice, and he was able to take me way back two times and solved it and saved my marriage, saved my life. I feel wonderful. Wow. So David. Uh David Mayo, what, how, what year was it when he got kicked out? Did he ever tell you when he when they finally just kicked him out? Because he should have took no. off the Church of Scientology. Yes, that's what I hear. I don't, I don't know the years exactly. I know there were. I, I know that we didn't see him again after about 1994. He just sort of disappeared. Yeah, he wasn't and in the church. He was 82. 82. That he was. No, I, I mean 94. But we saw him the last time. Oh, I see. Okay, 94 was the last time we saw him. And then I guess now he, he obviously has some type of yeah, because RTC pretty much said they were trying to sue him, but then it ended up that they were wrong and they had to basically buy out the rights for certain things and then try to get him quiet. I guess so. We've never heard another word from him. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, that's the way it is. So yeah. You know, everybody lost out on a, a very fine person. But uh, he did a lot of good things while he was around. Yeah. I was very pained by his long lawsuit. I don't know if there were other people involved in it, and it was uh, very sad. I, I would sit in restaurants with him sometimes and he'd think everybody was trying to do it. Yeah, they were really after him. They didn't put him in the RPF and make him run around with poles and he lost the sea. Yes, yes, he did. That's horrible. And who ordered him to do that with that same mustache? You know? I, I don't know. Wow. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And so David Mayo, when he actually uh, when he left Scientology, and then they RPF'd him, and then he escaped, obviously, and then he started helping the Star Trek freeze owners help people for a lot lower prices. Right? That's right. That's right. What did it cost when you had David Mayo uh, auditing you and helping you out? I think I was. No, I really don't remember, but I think it was about a hundred dollars an hour. That's a really good deal. Wow. Because Scientology, when I was like a little kid, they were saying just for a normal orb without even very good auditors, it's thirty-four hundred dollars with discount for twelve and a half hours. Really? So, and then if you want to flag, it's a thousand dollars if you're lucky per hour. So intensives were like thirteen thousand dollars for just twelve and a half hours. Well, maybe they had people that they thought were better than David Mayo. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, I doubt it. So David Mayo, what was the whole thing? He got kicked out of Scientology and stuff, and then they started saying he was a squirrel because when I was in Scientology, they really talked bad about him. Did you ever hear anything about how they kicked him out? Or anything? <laughs> No, I don't know. I, I, it, was, it was really not even discussed. Uh, very sensitive stuff around him. And when he came around our group, I've got a he was here, around but I don't have new people that respected him and admired him and yeah. really known about him. Now, mind you, there were some people that were not crazy about him. Yeah. Some people who said that he was a show off or whatever. But I didn't find that thing, so I had no problem with him. As I say, it was my first experience in Scientology, really. The friends I had. And um, it, was, it was great. Materials were wonderful. It's oddity, huh? The audience stuff. Yep. Oddity is like it works at times because it's basically Erwin Harper took it from a different type of psychology and that's why he tries to get rid of psychiatry later on in life to get older. He didn't want people to see similarities with it. And then he makes the other things help. Exactly. And it was cheaper over there. And David Mayo obviously became the best auditor around in my opinion because he was Erwin Harper's auditor. And he was a really down to earth kind of guy, though, from what I hear. Very down to earth kind of guy. But when you're in Scientology, you always say about David Mayo is he's the biggest fool in the universe, he's the biggest SP. They try to knock him, and it's really sad how they do that. You know what? Well, David, if you ever see this, I never thought you were a squirrel. <laughs> David Mayo is really, he was a pretty cool guy, and hopefully one day he can come out and speak to you.
possible or not. It would be very good for the younger people if they could ever. I don't know what, what, the, what the deal was or what happened. I hope he's happy wherever he is. You know, yeah. like, you know, well, I heard he got a lot of money. So I don't that's know about a good that. Thing. I know that he used to love to go sailing. What, what do they call that? Um, wind, wind, wind sailing. Surfing. Okay. Wind surfing. Okay. And he would do that all the time. He loved to wind surf. And he was a healthy guy. Very strong. And he's a nice guy. Yeah. The one thing that I liked best about him before he had a gag order, he was talking about the OT powers. He was talking about Harvard and stuff. He was talking about how Harvard and stuff couldn't even go exterior from his own body. And he was talking about how people could, you don't really get like OT powers from Scientology, like constantly, like they say, you can just move objects. He says everybody can do it once in a while, but it's not really like you can just get that ability because Howard Harvard didn't even have that ability. And I really liked how he was upfront and straight with people and stuff. And one time I called the free zoners and they said, Do you guys claim to be able to have these OT powers to make you do amazing things? And they said, No, we don't. We don't actually promote that you're going to have these amazing powers, at least the men I talked to, which I thought was pretty honest. Yes, that's honest. The only time that I ever saw David Mayo move anything was when he got behind it and gave it a good push. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the, the interview, the quick interview. Very what is your name again? My name is Okay, what's your, uh, your boyfriend's name? My yeah, boyfriend. Or your husband, I... Uh, he's, he's a, a good friend. His name is Terrell Moore. Terrell, yeah, he's really nice. Come talk to me. I want to talk to you. You know me really well. You know I'm not an SP. Come talk to me. Come talk to me. I just did it on the Yeah, Chris, oh, hello. Sorry. I didn't even see you. <laughs> I'm just recording everyone. In front, supporting us. In front of the Bye-bye. Alright. Okay. We are not having a bus. We're right in front of the Pulse of Scientology. Right here. Okay. That's right up. We talk to you all now. Everybody on a non-existent I don't know, but that's right in that spot, too. Everyday Joe is taking us right now. He's awesome. Check out how many people are right here right now. We don't have. We have a, a few over here and a bunch of over there. We're gonna protest and go around the block in a minute. Ready, guys? I'm loud enough today. Start the protest. This is the actual part of the event where we're protesting for once. Scientology just wants your money. Did somebody hold that for me? <laughs> yeah! TLDR, basically, Scientology is a cult, and that is exactly what we are protesting. We're not protesting the religion itself, but we are protesting the fact that the religion makes you pay to believe in it. The Church of Scientology has been exploiting and expelling its members over the years as they join and are kicked out because they finally realized they were stupid enough to spend all this money on a belief that doesn't make any sense to them in the long run. They take away people's families with disconnection. They make people stop being around their families because one person opposes Scientology, which is really sad because Elrod Hubbard did this to his third wife, Mary Sue Hubbard, as she went to prison for Operation Snow White, which actually she got convicted with many other Scientologists, and they just followed Elrod Hubbard's duties, and he ran away and cowered it out hit like a coward, until he died in 1986. L. Ron Hubbard died as a convict, as a fugitive of the law. And today, the Church of Scientology falls in his footsteps. Except them, they use the Constitution of the United States of America to try to cover their tracks, to try to make themselves look stronger, to make themselves look better. However, we are using the Constitution of the United States of America in an effort to actually show the problems with Scientology. We are here today expressing our freedom of speech, expressing our ability to protest, to show the people of America, whether it be here in San Francisco, whether it be here in California, here in the United States, or around the world, we are here to protest the Church of Scientology publicly and show people all of the problems it has caused, all of the, all of the danger it has caused. Scientology is responsible for tearing families apart. It is responsible for killing people. It is responsible for killing people. Yellow party man. Yellow party man. Scientology grew up something to pay for a week. Go 